I, I can actually fit in another video. Um, now this um, covers two interesting points. I've always said that Ascot was made by uh, the General Electric Company, GEC, but never actually seen it written down anywhere. Well now, just noticed, this is the box it came in, and it says in black and white, or should I say black and blue, General Electric Company Limited of England. And that's associated with the Ascot name. Ascot, as I say originally, they were a company owned by the Radiation Group who made gas heaters, uh, water heaters. The old Ascot was quite famous. Well, in fact, I had one in the original house that I was in. Um, it worked fairly well, it wasn't bad, um, and it was quite a popular thing. Their trademark was like a, a triangle with the name Ascot on the bottom. They don't show the other uh, triangle on here, but it's obviously the same name, no, so they were obviously paid by Radiation Group to have lamps made for them. And on there, as you see, it's General Electric Company. Now the second point of interest, we looked at one of these, or a similar lamp, a candle lamp, uh, it was actually a twisted candle by Bell, which I showed a couple of days ago, and uh, the filament looked very much like it could have been a carbon, it, it's not carbon, it, was, it just looked that way, uh, the coating was like a um, uh, a, a sort of a, how, how can I put it, it was uh, like etched glass coating so through it it did look very much like a carbon lamp well in fact the filament was a rough service type filament but went the whole length of the lamp now this one I would say is an intermediate stage if you look at the filament there it's single coil um, it's not officially a rough service filament. It has got quite a few supports, but no more than normal. It's got five. I think five's like the norm. And the filament is raised up above the little glass stud, which makes it not ancient, but it's fairly old. The next stage of these would be that filament would have been replaced by a coil coil filament and then they become very uninteresting. The most interesting ones were of course the ones with the the long um, looped filament like the, uh, the one I showed you, the one by Bell. They're all tungsten filaments, they're definitely not carbon. Mind you, having said that, I could show you a carbon filament one, it's not an English one, it's an American one. But uh, anyway, at the moment, I'll show you the tungsten filaments. And this, I would say, is the intermediate stage. Stage after this would be the coil coil type filament. And the stage before that would be the rough service loop type filament. Let's have a look, see if it says any, anything on it, I'm sure it does. And my calls just come back, so not to worry. Um, it's uh, got the name on there, Ascot. Two thirty volts, two fifty volts. I'm looking at it and cheating. Forty watts. The etch is not that good, but it's it gives you the voltage and the wattage. I'll see if there's any code numbers on it. No, no, there's no codes on it. Not a code in sight. But anyhow, that's the lamp. And uh, as I say, it's in. also um, interesting to note that you've got that red powder on the stem, which I believe, and I'll be corrected if I'm if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right, is a gettering agent. 
Now Getter, which you can find on, on radio valves and other lamps, um, some of the discharge lamps have a, have a getter, but what it is, it's a means of removing the last traces of oxygen that might be inside the actual lamp itself. And we think that is um, a gettering powder. Some of the Far Eastern lamps uh, from, from Japan, the getting's actually like a black paint daubed on it. But I'll show you it a light before I answer the phone. You won't mind. Now it's off there. It's only about it's only about so some lamps we ordered on eBay. We won them. Hold on. Right, let's just have a little look. And he's obviously keen to know that I won them or, or we won them. Um, which we did. There's the lamp of light showing the filament. Sorry I didn't light that other lamp, uh, that half silvered one. I, I forgot about lighting it. Anyway, I do get carried away. There's, this is on about 100 and just under 150 volts. I've got a little label on the uh, Variac. It would be mains voltage, but I can show it like that. So, anyway, any questions, please ask. Um, I'll try and give you the answer if I can. Once again, I don't know the age, but I would think, yeah, I think probably the 1960s. It was a fair time ago, and I think I was a bit younger in those days. So anyhow, thanks again for watching. Any comments, please make, and any queries, I'll get back to you uh, with, well, hopefully with answers. If I can't give an answer, uh, I think my mate will, so you, I think you'll be okay. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. I better go and answer my phone. Thanks again. Thank you.